the end of the day. But uh, anyway, we've always been there in June. We've never been there in the, in the winter months. Hey, Hi everybody, Stu, AG6AG. This video covers how to create an account and set up that account for ContestOnlineScore.com. ContestOnlineScore.com allows for real-time score posting during contests. It interfaces with most contest logging software that people use out there and allows you to share those scores with groups like clubs or teams that you create. We plan to use this out here in Ventura County to try to get back some of the competitive conversation and the fun of field day. After all, with the coronavirus making our field day efforts much different this year, it's good to have some method to be able to compete. Anyway, if you'd like, also, please click the subscribe button below. And with that, let's get on with the show. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to go to ContestOnlineScore.com and I'm going to pretend that I have never logged in before. So I'm going to go to register and I'm going to click please register your profile. And this was fairly simple to fill out. I'll just put in my call sign. Let's see, my name, my email address. I'll pick a password, whatever I want to make that. I would go down here. I need to select my continent, which is North America. Now, I don't have to put anything in for my club or my team yet. I just want to get this registered. I do have to pick a password. I recommend that you put in something that's easy, like, uh, you know, something that will be easy for you to remember. This is not secure data. I'm going to click I am not a robot, and then I would click register. When I click register, I will receive an email from Contest Online Scoreboard confirming my account. Okay? So once I confirm it and I get logged into the site, I'll go to my profile. And under my profile, I'll set my club and my team. Now, in my particular case, my club is Ventura County Amateur Radio Society, and it's already in here. Uh, so I had to search for it initially, uh, and basically about halfway down, I get to the point where it says North America. And if your club is in North America, that is where it's going to be listed. And I just go down to, oh, the V's here, and there I am. We've got a couple different Ventura County clubs out there. I'm Ventura County Amateur Radio Society. And in our particular case, we have created a team. And I'll show you the value of the team in just a minute. But if you're setting up right now for field day in Ventura County, you're going to want to choose the all Ventura County team. Okay. Once you do that, update your profile. You're all set to go. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the home screen. And here is the pull down listing all the contests. Now, I will show you a contest that I've already done, and that was the, where is it? The Kentucky QSO party, and I want to use this as an example. I ran high power mixed, and there I am, uh, right there under high power mixed. Now, across the top here, I got some kind of cool things, and one of them is clubs. If I click on clubs, it's going to pull up another page with all the clubs. All I got to do is go down and find my club, which is Ventura County Amateur Radio Society. If I click on that, it's going to filter just on my club. So the cool part about this is if you're participating in field day and a bunch of your buddies uh, in your club are participating, 
if they set up their club in this, you guys can watch your screen to see how each of you is doing. Uh, kind of a little bit of a you know, contest in a contest, let's say. Now, for us here in Ventura County, we wanted to do something special. We wanted to be able to have all of the amateur radio operators here in Ventura County be able to see what everybody else was doing. So we had a good competitive thing going on, not just with members of the club, but with everyone that was in Ventura County. So we created the team, all Ventura County. And as you can see there, that is a click on that. And you can see there's somebody else in there too. Uh, W6KME, who is going to be competing with the Canal Valley Amateur Radio Club. So now I've got these two tabs. I've got just my club and I've got everybody in Ventura County. And here's the original tab, which has everyone in the world that is using this particular scoreboard program. I have another video that shows a lot more on how you get that configured and set up for N1MM or N3FJP. Uh, I encourage you to watch that video also, and that'll show you how to get your contest software all set up to automatically post. But let's say that you don't have contest software. You're just going to be doing, uh, you know, uh, what we call the yellow pad log. You can periodically make entries manually by just setting your stuff up and giving your guest score and how many QSLs you have and then send it up there. So you don't even have to use logging software in order to use this site, which is pretty cool. Anyway, that's all I got on this, uh, and I hope you enjoy it because I think this is going to make things a lot more fun for us here, and hopefully it will for you. Well, that's it. That was easy, wasn't it? So we're really looking forward to doing this out in our little county to be able to have that same type of competitive conversation that we were able to have back when we did the larger events. Anyway, if you have comments or questions, please make them down below. Oh, and also don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day. This is Stu, AG6AG, saying 73, and I hope to hear you out on the air.